Thousands of Bahamians headed to the polls today to exercise their constitutional right to vote to choose who will govern the country for the next five years. Cleopatra Murphy spoke with a few candidates at the H.O. Nash Junior High School Voting Center. Voters from the Garden Hills and Fort Charlotte constituencies towed a long line outside the H.O. Nash Junior High School Thursday morning as they waited to cast their votes in the advanced poll just a week ahead of the general election. Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable Desmond Bannister was among them, casting his vote for the Free National Movement's candidate for Fort Charlotte, Jermico Archer. He says before casting their votes, the electorate should consider that government was confronted with natural disasters in the form of Hurricanes Irma and Dorian and also had to deal with the worst pandemic in history with COVID-19. If you look at how the Prime Minister has protected Bahamians, look how those Bahamians who, couldn't, who didn't have food were able to have, have food to be fed through the feeding network, uh, how we cared for Bahamians and what we did, what we had to do and sure we protected our people. There's, there's, there's never been a parallel in history. Uh, there's never been a situation that the government has faced like this. And we have faced it and we have done whatever had to be done for our people. Progressive Liberal Party and FNM candidates for Fort Charlotte, Alfred Serres and Dramico Archer, each believe the parties they represent is the right one to steer the course of the nation over the next five years. I stand with the Progressive Liberal Party because of its philosophy. It's a philosophy since 1953 that has emphasized that a government must be for the people, not the privileged few. That we must develop a diversified economy, not just Nassau. When you consider what we have done in the worst of times, in the most challenging times, and to see all of our accomplishments, we provided food resource to the poor. We provided opportunity for ownership of land at an affordable rate. We provided unemployment benefit and we continue to do so. Two of the female candidates vying for electoral office this time around, servant leader of the Bahamas Constitution Party Ali McIntosh and independent candidate for Fort Charlotte, Fontella Chipman Roll, are hoping for success at the polls on election day. I continue to offer myself, uh, this is my fifth time as I said, because it is necessary that if the Bahamian people are to be convinced uh, that there are people not only committed uh, to, to them as a people, but also committed to good governance. Party politics is what I am uh, really fighting against. More than 10,000 Bahamians had applied to vote in the advanced poll, while thousands more will cast their ballots in the general election next Thursday. Cleopatra Murphy. Sadness Network News. If you missed anything, we've got you covered. Subscribe to our ZNS Network YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for breaking news, live event coverage, web exclusives, and much more.